Hey guys, it's me, Mr. G50, and welcome back to your every other day dose of action, adventure, drama, and more drama. We're back here again for a shift in power, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot more drama going on because, well, I haven't had my daily dose yet. Our next story takes us to the new law that was enacted by Congress just a few hours ago. It was unanimously approved to amend medical legislation in ways never before seen in the U.S., requiring medical institutions to sponsor their doctors to the newly formed Hands of Eclipsius. Uh-oh. We're gonna have robot doctors everywhere. These measures are undoubtedly in response to the recent acts of medical terrorism and will allow the HOA to hand-select staff from hospitals to be trained in their facilities. While some parties have voiced concern over the lack of doctors this could create locally, the government and the HOA have publicly stated that this will lead to medical advancements. <laughs> Everything is going just as planned with my evil laugh that probably isn't evil. Enter. Uh, excuse me, sir. We received the report from the police. It looks like they've identified Delphi's new leader. Here it is. Let's see here. Heinrich. Heinrich von Rathenau. <laughs> ah, blood relative of Adam. Well, isn't that just shocking? This information has been submitted to the UN. I believe we'll hear more as soon as they have a chance to act on it. Alright. What about the request list we sent out for our staff expansion? Are the hospitals cooperating? We've already gotten back several responses, and they look favorable. We'll have reached your target numbers in the very near future. I'm glad to hear that. Chief, you're meeting with the ministers in ten minutes. Alright, I'll be down as soon as I've done getting ready. Have the car up front. Understood. We're ready when you are. <laughs> make sure they, they pull the car around with my favorite beverage. It's finally time to make our offensive. In a way that's probably not shifty. An amendment to medical law. This is going to be problematic. Yes. The hands of Eclipsius have already sent us a list of the personnel they're requesting. Please take a look at this. This is worse than I imagined. If they take this many from us, we'll be drastically understaffed. We're scrambling to provide solid reasons to cut this loss by about a third of what they've requested. Increasing the skills of doctors everywhere will make up for our lack of numbers against skill. At the same time, this will lessen the burden of doctors who work on non-guilt afflictions. Personally, I see nothing wrong with what Mr. Mercer is advocating here. But... I wonder about creating scalpels that are too sharp- Oh, cryptic crap! You mean the mass production of doctors who can use the healing touch? Even though they can physically give them that kind of power, there aren't many who can truly handle its weight. Angie! Angie, did you hear? Right from the pharmaceutical division is leaving for the HOA. What? I didn't know that. It looks like that's the that's only the beginning. A lot more people are going to be leaving too. People like Dr. Agoda and even Dr. Rogers. Oh man, Dr. Agoda and Dr. Rogers, that's terrible. This is going to make things really hard on us here. Yeah, and lonelier too. Huh? What the... What's the matter? Angie, we don't have any saline in stock. Huh? What? Are you serious? Oh, wow. We're almost entirely out of atropine, too. Jeez, how did this happen? They should have ordered more. Looks like these staffing transitions aren't going well. Well, they should have been more careful. I can't believe this. What's going on in here, Leslie? I could hear you shouting all the way down the hall. We're just so busy, this could be trouble. 
And if you have even an hour of free time, you better be helping out too, Dr. Chase. What? Is Caduceus going to be able to function like this? I must admit, I'm getting a little worried about it too. Cryptic dots. Those cryptic dots always being so cryptic. Yep, yeah, just what I thought. New chapter. Uh, give me just one second, I'll be right back. Now, I have a feeling that Dr. Styles probably was on that list of people for the HOA. Anyway, let's continue into chapter 6. Let's see, do we have any more rounds left? Understood. Hmm, no, that was our last patient. Whew, this is even harder than I thought it would be. Ever since the HOA took their picks from our staff, oh, I guess he wasn't taken, we're all seeing a lot more patients. You're right. I wonder if we'll be able to get any new recruits to fill the positions. I don't know. I've heard that hospitals everywhere are facing the same shortages. But if this keeps up, it's really going to slow us down. Yeah, well, if you think we're being slowed down, you should have seen how angry Victor was. He said that the PGS research is suffering because Acropolis is prioritizing their HOA projects. It seems that all of Caduceus is having problems coping with the situation. Ah, there you are. Derek, would you mind if I borrowed Angie for a bit? Uh, something wrong, Tyler? W what do you need me for? Hey! One of my patients has suddenly become unstable, and we need to operate immediately. And Leslie's helping Dr. Clarks with another operation, so I don't have an assistant. Are you serious? Angie, can you help? Certainly. Dr. Chase, let's go. Thanks, Angie. I appreciate it. Isn't that kind of her job? Okay, whatever. Things just can't continue like this. Attention, Dr. Styles. You have a visitor in the waiting room. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. Who could this be? Dr. Styles. Hi. It's been a while. Miss Ross, how have you been? Are you feeling okay? Yes, actually. So far, there haven't been any signs of latent symptoms either. It's all thanks to the advances in guilt treatment and a wonderful doctor. Great. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. But, uh, about Emilio... I'm sorry about before. I kinda lost it. As a nurse, it was unprofessional of me to criticize you on such a difficult decision. I apologize, Dr. Styles. I hope you can forgive me. No. No. It was my fault, too. There must have been a better option. I still regret not being able to save Emilio. Dr. Styles. That's why. I've got to sh make sure I don't make that kind of mistake ever again. This is my way of remembering Emilio in his last wish. To do everything I can to make sure all of my patients pull through. I'm sure that Emilio would be happy to hear you say that. I plan on making some changes in my life too, Doctor. In fact, that's why I'm here today. Oh, well, I see. Um, how can I help you? I'd like to apply to work here, as a nurse. I've already cleared my potential transfer with Elysium. Wow, so you're really serious about this? Yes, I felt that I needed a change of pace lately. Coming here would also improve my nursing skills and seeing how Caduceus is so understaffed. Well, I think it's a great idea. Now, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna make another guess here. I bet something's gonna happen. Angie's gonna be busy with uh, with the other doctor, and she's gonna have to work with us. I'm not betting $100 on it, but I'd bet five. I'm looking forward to working with everyone, assuming I meet the qualifications. Let's do our best. I'll do my best to make Caduceus proud. I'm sure you'll fit in just fine, Heather. Hmm. 
you've got quite an impressive resume here. Thank you. I take my professional development very seriously. I'm sure you're well aware, but we're facing a severe shortage of personnel right now. We pretty much can't afford to not hire you. We'd be happy to have someone of your caliber to help alleviate our staffing problem. Then, I got the job? Nope. <laughs> well, since you have a surgical experience, we'll put you in that department for the time being. We'll evaluate your performance and go from there. Though I'm sure there won't be any problems. Thank you very much, Dr. Casal. Let's do our best. If you don't mind, I'd like to start getting familiar with the facility right away. I'm glad it all worked out, Heather. Yes, me too. Excuse me a moment. This is Sydney. What? Uh, I see, yes. Alright, we'll admit him. Derek. Derek, we have an inbound emergency patient. It's another case of PGS. He's a 30-year-old male who was once infected with trite, the affected area of the stomach. I'm assigning this patient to you, Derek. But Chief, Angie's still assisting Dr. Chase in the OR. What could we possibly do? Well, we just hired a new nurse, Derek. That's right. You have the same nursing license as Angie, don't you? I'll assist you to the best of my ability, Dr. Styles. Let's begin the All right, let's get down to the operating room. Yes, sir. Okay, where's my five dollars? Somebody, you guys all owe me five dollars. Though then again, that was pretty obvious, so I bet no one bet against me. Oh well. Are you ready to begin the briefing, doctor? Oh, let's see, hold on. Damage to the stomach, foreign objects detected. Stabilizer unavailable. Ooh, so this is like that other mission in the second game where we didn't have an... We had, I think we had limited stabilizer and antibiotic gel. I don't know if we actually had any stabilizer, I'm not sure. Anyway, yes. Does it bother you that Miss Thompson isn't the one assisting you today? No. No, of course not. Then, I'll continue. As Chief Casal mentioned, our patient was infected with the trite guilt in the past. Trite. That's the guilt that hardens the organs and does the triangle thing and is probably my least favorite out of all of them because that one's very difficult to do. Correct. We've located some foreign bodies in the stomach, but we can't confirm that it's guilt. The x-ray shows these objects piercing the stomach wall. Thus, there are two objectives in this operation. Treat the injuries to the stomach, extract the foreign bodies. Alright, first we'll have to find out what these foreign bodies are. Are you ready, Heather? What, what is this? Wait, no! We don't have enough surgical tools! What? We don't have any syringes to inject the stabilizer with! Wow, you guys are really bad then. And there's hardly enough antibiotic gel either. What? No! How could this happen? I guess we've been so understaffed that no one had time to check the supply. Doctor, maybe we should postpone the operation until... No. We've got to perform the procedure. A what? The patient's condition is worsening as we speak. If we don't treat him now, it may be too late. Oh, the drama. But doctor... Don't worry. We can still do this even with a limited supply. We just have to stay on our toes. It could have been bad if we found out this out in the middle of the operation. Thank you, Heather. Now, let's get started. Right away. Oh man, the drama. My All drama right, senses are tingling. Oh, it's so good. All right. Oh, sorry. There's a bit of a high there. Let's begin the operation. Let's do our best. Never done this before, but I'll try my best, Doctor Styles. Like I said earlier. Keeping the patient's vitals up is going to be difficult. We can't inject the stabilizer, and this is all we have left of the antibiotic gel. We we'll need to be very careful. So yeah, we need to be very careful with how we use the antibiotic gel. And I could have done that a little better. But we're not doing too bad, so far. The biggest problem will be managing the antibiotic gel. There's severe hemorrhaging in the affected areas, please drain the blood pools first. Once you have a clear view, make incisions where the foreign objects are lodged. Toxicosis is always set in, 
So don't forget to inject sedative. Wait, wait. You said we had no syringes. What are you talking about? Are Toxicosis syringes different? What is this? Yeah. It's Tridy, but it doesn't seem to be active. These may be its remains. I wonder, could this be a form of PGS? How are we going to treat it, Doctor? Probably just rip it out. We'll have to be mindful of the direction they're lodged in and extract with the forceps. That means we'll need to extract all of these Tridy remains first. Then we can apply synthetic membranes and affix- Wait, what if we run out of antibiotic gel? We'll have no choice. We'll have to suture the wounds, even though it will affect his vitals. Oh, come on. Yeah, you don't want to mess this up if you can help it. So being slow is really helpful here, by the way. Oh, yep. And these ones are, you know, completely able to be messed up because you just, you know... You do you don't manage the vitals well enough. I'm doing okay with the vitals so far. I mean it's not great obviously, but it's manageable. Oh, that that hurt a bit. It's still doable, it's just this is gonna be pretty close, I think. Oh, no, that's bad. Okay, we're gonna have to apply a little bit of antibiotic gel just to keep him from dying. Okay, treatment of all wounds is complete. Let's close him. The organ's color is changing, Doctor. Toxicosis has set in. Could there be wounds we haven't found yet? I sure hope not, not with three vitals. I don't see anything on the surface, but let's try looking with the ultrasound. Huh? Whoop. Why did it suddenly start to hemorrhage? So there were wounds left. Let's hurry and treat them. Here's the drain. Indeed, let's begin draining the blood. Oh man, I know. Are you kidding me? Is this doable? Is this doable? I'm not sure on this. I'm actually not sure anymore. Where, oh, I know, I know. Why can't I cut that? There we go. Doctor, yeah, I know. It's because I had a few failures with pulling out those, uh, those pins or whatever they were, the tridy things. Well, that's not a good way to impress the ladies. Yeah. Can't impress the new ladies by screwing up with your healing touch. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back to that point, hopefully with more vitals. Oh my gosh, did I do it? Okay, we're all done. Four vitals, almost no gel. I pretty much had to do that perfectly, very quickly, in order to do that. I've said it before, but these Trauma Center games have a really odd difficulty curve. They will go from the last mission being absurdly easy to the next mission being very, very difficult with a small margin for error. And Sure, I can turn it down to easy mode, but I'm just saying, it's like, the difficulty curve sometimes per mission changes from, like, normal to hard. Alright, looks like we're done now. Yes, the Toxicosis seems to have completely subsided. We're making Thank goodness. That concludes this treatment. 
Now, I have a good feeling. Yep, yep, we're gonna suit to that. I have a good feeling that we're not gonna have enough antibiotic gel to uh, disinfect this. Yep, that's it. Welp. Bad. Operation complete. Well done, Dr. Styles. That was... You have a very small margin for error. If you're... If you were maybe faster and more accurate than me, I honestly think the best you could get out of that mission might be 15 vitals. Because I did that really well. Look at that. Look how good I did. The only way you could do that better is if you did it faster. Because I didn't mess up. You did a great job in there, Heather. I'd say the operation was a success, thanks to you. Oh, hardly. I'm just honored to have been able to assist you, Dr. Styles. All you did was yell at me and tell me to do it better. <laughs> now you're embarrassing me. <laughs> you really know what you're doing, though. I'm sure Chief Casal will have no qualms about making you permanent now. Keep up the great work. I'll try, Doctor. Dr. Styles. Dr. Styles, what room is the emergency patient in? Oh, Miss Ross, what brings you here? Long time no see, Miss Thompson. Actually, I just got hired. Today is my first day. Huh? What? Really? She'll be my assistant when you're helping the other doctors, Angie. Uh, oh, I see. Miss Thompson, Let's do our best. I know I have a lot to learn, but I'll do my best to keep up. Of course. If you have any questions, just let me know. So, um, welcome. It'll be great to have a nurse of your ability to help us out around here. Right, Dr. Styles? Uh, yeah. I have a feeling that little bit of jealousy kind of cropped up again. Anyone else feel that? And it looks like I think this will be the last mission for today. I guess the first one didn't take too long, and I'm sure this one probably won't take too long either. Ooh, where's this? Is this in that, uh... This looks like that room from, um... From Second Opinion that was in that extra bonus chapter that was only in Second Opinion. Uh, to our knowledge, the current leader of Delphi is Heinrich von Rathenu. It's also noteworthy that he's the grandson of the former leader, Austrian-born... Ex et Erich von Rathenu. Von Rathenu Sr. is the man who engineered Gilt, operating under the code name Adam. When Delphi was exposed three years ago, Heinrich's alleged participation was unconfirmed. But we know now with certainty that he played a role in the Gilt research from the beginning. Can you tell us how the change in leadership has affected their ideology? Unfortunately, Heinrich's beliefs are essentially in line with his predecessors. He rejects the very philosophy of medicine, claiming it violates nature's design. Delphi clings to their demented assertions that mass murder with guilt brings peace to mankind. It's sickening to think that they could believe such ludicrous ideas. Well... Yes. They may not have as much power as before, but they certainly are still a viable threat especially knowing that they are capable of bringing about further evolutions of guilt. I'm Detective David Buckley. I'll be presenting the countermeasures we've taken against them thus far. We've begun coordinating expansive search and expansive search across most major city for potential threats. Our priority has been on high population density areas that are more viable targets for them. We've also cross-examined the evidence obtained from prior raids with the confession of suspects. This intel has confirmed several likely Delphi hideouts near Angels Bay and Santa Balboa. We are pressing to conduct full-scale investigations on these facilities as we speak. Mr. Chairman, may I have a word with the Assembly? You may, Mr. Mercer. My name is Patrick Mercer. CEO of the Hands of Eclipsius. It is clear that the entire world must once again come to terms with the reality of guilt terrorism. Now, more than ever, we must unite in our efforts to stand strong against this ominous threat. 
we owe our thanks to the combined efforts of Caduceus USA and the UN for our previous successes. The final raid on the Delphi base still remains a testament to how effective allegiances can be. Now, in order to truly annihilate them, we must rally under the banner of Singularity once more. The hands of Eclipsius stand at the ready, and I am here before you to offer our full cooperation. Our doctor's healing touches are being further enhanced by the day, rather ready to face potential terrorism. However, the true purpose of my address to you today <laughs> is to announce that the hands of Eclipsius have developed a weapon that may be guilt's final blow. A weapon? Whatever it is, it sounds like he has complete confidence in it. Let's see what he has to say. Says nothing. I've returned from my assignment, Your Excellency. Our base of activities in Angel's Bay has been discovered, and five of our comrades were arrested. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that guy. This is already our third location. It's just as the rumor said. The police in this country are exceptional. Do you think they acquired the location from those who were captured? They may have talked, but I'm sure the police are also using other resources. They are closing in on us, slowly but surely. Y you think they'll find us here, my lord? No. The likelihood of that is slim for now. We've ensured that only a select few of our operatives know of this location. Yes, sir. But, are we just going to let them do this to us? It would not be to our benefit to lose any more of our forces. Send an encrypted message to all of our comrades. The time has come to launch Operation Hades. Right away, sir! <laughs> Evil laugh, totally evil. My brothers, let us toast to the eternal peace that guilt shall bring to the fortunate and to the memory of our forefather, Adam. Sir. Zoom roll. What? Zoom roll. Let our judgment now be passed upon these blinded doctors. <laughs> I love this game, I really do, it's so much fun. I have a feeling this is, I mean, like I said, you know, they are definitely borrowing ideas from their previous game, but I do think that they did a decent job of breaking the mold this time, which is kind of cool. Uh, even if it wasn't, like, heavily broken, because it is a sequel, it's understandable that it wasn't quite heavily as broken as it, you know, might have been if it was a completely unconnected Trauma Center game. But, obviously, this is going to turn into kind of the... I, like, I can see the end of the game coming with how they're doing it now. Because this is how they usually do it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time for more Trauma Center Under the Knife 2. Bye!